two square unboxings, both from Diamond Art Club. First one is Majestic Ship by Image World. And this is a square, like I said, 98 by 70 centimeters. Next one is Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Pinson. And this one measures 93 by 70 centimeters. So they're very similar in size. I think Majestic Ship is a little bit bigger. So let's start with Majestic Ship. So, so like that. All right, so you get a diamond painting toolkit. So their toolkits from Diamond Art Club comes in this resealable frosted bag with a little blue diamond painting pen. Square kits come with, with these um, very sharp black tweezers. Very pointy, so be careful with them. We get a clear boat with a spout. You can see the blue squishy here. Handful of baggies. Two pieces of heart-shaped wax. And plus a um, multi-placer. And I think it's one of those skinny four-placers. But you can see right here, it'll list everything that comes in here. So that's our toolkit. It's gonna come with a little baby sticker with the image and on the information of the canvas right here. Then your canvas is gonna come in this plastic sleeve with your drills rolled on the inside of the canvas along with a large inventory sticker sheet. So Diamond Art Club canvases are made of this soft velvet-like material that is self-flattening, meaning if you just simply rolled it out and let it sit for a few minutes, it will kind of straighten itself out. But for the sake of time, I am going to go ahead and roll this out to kind of have it flatten a little bit faster. Their canvases are poured glue, so you don't have to worry about rivers or bubbles or any sort of adhesive separating from the canvas like you would with double-sided adhesive. We get a blue um, brochure with struck by step-by-step -step instructions on how to diamond paint, as well as a larger sticker sheet with all the information you need. So here's the picture again. We are working with 65 colors, and it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, four ABs. Very cool. Now ABs stand for Aurora Borealis, they're called such because they're reminiscent of the Northern Lights. They put a iridescent coating on the drills that just brings out the sparkle just a little bit more. Think of it like a highlight on your diamond pan. They're really fun to work with. So drills come packaged like this, labeled. So it makes it easier if you um, store your drills separately from your canvas. So let me have you take a good look at these square drills here. This is mainly just so you can kind of see all the colors that's part of this painting. I don't see any real obvious debris, but you know, you just never know until you start placing the drills onto the canvas itself. The Diamond Art Club has pretty good quality. I've never really had any problems with them. And if you do have problems, you can always email them and contact their customer support. They're very responsive. So I think you can just see it right here. That is one of the ABs. You can see how there's a little bit of iridescence to it. That just kind of makes it stand out just a little bit more. They're great accents for your diamond painting. And like I said, just fun to work with. So those are our drills. All right. Now, canvases come with a color key on opposite sides. So there's one there. Here's the other one. Left hand bottom lower corner will have a thumbprint along with um, canvas information. Now let's take a look at the drill field. Looks pretty clear to me. I'm trying to get it to focus. All right. And here it is in its entirety. Let's see if you can 
trying to get all of it in the frame is a little tricky. And then plus I'm working with a glare, so sorry about that. That looks pretty good. I love how they rendered the sky with all these different blues and purples and pinks. I think that's going to look really nice when it's done up. So there you go. This is Majestic Ship by Image World. All right, moving on. Next one up is Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Pinson. Got her sticker up right here. So, once again, our square toolkit. Here is our baby sticker. And let's get into the canvas. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm doing all right. Today is Monday Labor Day, so we're just kind of hanging out. We're about to head over to a friend's house for um, some swimming and a cookout. Well, I'm not swimming, but my son will be and some of the other kids, so it's going to be fun. So, our, for sure. And here's our larger sticker. You can get a better look at the image here. So once again, Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Pinson. This is a square measuring 93 by 70 centimeters. We are working with 59 colors and one, two, three, four ABs. So there you go. Here's our pack of drills. Let's see if you can take a glance at the drills here. I like these, is it like a rose color? It's really cool. And I think, yep, here are some of the ABs here. All right, now let's look at the canvas. Lots of green in this canvas. I like it. And then we got a cool sort of golden sky. This very pretty tree. So if you're not familiar with Chuck Pinson, doesn't use a lot of black, which is awesome. Um, lots of confetti, but I'm gonna tell you right now, the effort is so worth it because the end product is just beautiful. I know a lot of his paintings do come in squares, but I think it just gives that much more detail. And I mean, if, if you've always been nervous to do a Chuck Pinson, don't be, don't be, don't be scared off by the squares. I promise you the effort is very much worth it. So I am working on my seventh Chuck Pinson now. And um, I, I just love them. I love them all. I like the silos here. It's really cool. I know we're dealing with a glare. I'm sorry. So there's the silos. But anyways, here's our key on opposite sides here. Lower left hand corner is our information. And let's take a peek at the drill field. Okay. I'm trying to look at this um, outside in the viewfinder because I know sometimes the viewfinder will show things a little clearer than how you would see it in real life, just so I can tell you if I see any any symbols that could be problematic. But I don't see anything, so that's pretty good. All right, so here it is. Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Pinson. This looks like an early dawn sort of scene on the farm. Love it. Okay, I'm sorry about the glare, guys. I'm going to try to fix it in the next video, but for now, here you go. So there you go. 
these are my two unboxings majestic ship and anticipation of the day ahead um thanks for sticking around and um i'll check in with you guys later bye now